welcome back to our Oklahoma life. We're back out on the on the property, and uh, they just finished um, day before yesterday pouring our porches. So we have both slabs, porch, or all three porches, and our safe room all poured now. So now we're just waiting on uh, their framing crew to come out in the next couple of weeks and start framing, mm -hmm. and then we'll be waiting on their uh, the sheet metal crew after that. So we're out here. It's actually warmed up. I think it's about 35, maybe even 40 by now. It was about 30 degrees when we got out here this morning. It's been raining. Uh, luckily, it didn't start raining until after they poured the, the concrete. But it's been raining. You can see over here, it's uh, I mean, there's standing water, standing water out front. I didn't think it rained that much, but it did. So anyways, <clears throat> um, it's taken us almost a month to get all of our concrete poured because of weather delays, you know, snow and ice and rain and, you know, uh, cement trucks being able to get in and out. Um, they had one get stuck when they were pouring the safe room. And uh, so they put the, the shop foundation on hold for a couple of days to let it dry out some more. But uh, it's, it's coming along and we're getting closer and closer to be dried in. I'm hoping we should be dried in in the next three to four weeks, um, weather permitting. And hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. So we'll see. And uh, I'll take you on a tour of our pads real quick, and then we'll talk about how much all this cost. Okay, so this is our shop pad. It's uh, 40 by 60. Uh, you can see the plumbing there. We are gonna put a man cave apartment in this front area. So there's the tub, the sink, the water supply, the sink for the kitchenette, and the laundry drain. So this is it. We had a porch added along the front here. It's five by 20. And that's for our electrical coming in. And that's my drink. <laughs> Anyways, this is the shop. It's looking good. And that over there is the barn dough. So this is the garage area here, right in the front. There's our safe room. There's the front porch. This is a 40 by 84 building. Um, a 10 by 60 foot front porch. Um, this is what you need to have done if you're gonna do a curbless shower. <clears throat> this will actually be a shower and the bathtub will be right behind it. This will all be a wet room, but you need to have them recess your shower into the slab if you wanna do a curbless shower, meaning you can like walk right into it, wheel a wheelchair right into it. Um, we're not getting any younger, so. We had them do that. <clears throat> but it makes it a lot easier than having to bust up your slab to put in a curbless shower. This is our safe room. This is uh, six by eight on the outside. It's five by seven on the inside. Um, the steel frame up there has rebar welded across it. And this whole thing was poured in one pour from the top down. And there's one vent there and there's another vent on the top and there's another vent up there too. You just can't see it. Um, unfortunately, they left some trash in here when they cleaned up the property, but this is the inside. It's five by seven on the inside. There's Mrs. Mrs. Oracle Life there. There is one of the vents and there's another vent. And it's just a big concrete room that will hopefully keep us safe in the event of a tornado or a break in or whatever. There's a steel frame that was poured with the uh, the room. So it is, it's actually got bars that run inside the room, inside the concrete. So <clears throat> that's the door. It's a 36 inch door. Yeah, plenty enough space for probably, I'd say four or five adults, maybe even six adults. 
I mean, you're not going to be in there for very long, hopefully. And hopefully we won't ever have to test this thing out. This is the first storm shelter we've ever had in our lives. And hopefully we'll never need it. But it looks like it's seat uh, five, five, six adults easily with some benches in there. And probably a couple of adults and four, five, six smaller children. So anyways, <clears throat> this is our back porch. It is 40 by 65 all the way across the back of the of the living area plus we had it extended five feet because there will be a door right here from the garage going out onto the porch and we wanted that that uh doorway covered by the by the cover on the on the porch so that's about it it's a lot of concrete costs a lot of money yeah and we wanted to have a Coffee in front of our porch is costing this much money just to have that. <laughs> yeah, coffee on the porch is costing us a bunch of money. Yeah, this is my favorite spot. <laughs> this is your favorite spot in the morning? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, a nice view. But the back porch view isn't bad either. I like the front. But. Nothing. So, this is a lot of concrete. 40 by 60, five foot porch, 40 by 84, two 10 foot by 60 six, and 65 porches. The safe room. Let me talk about the safe room first. The safe room, uh, it was kind of an afterthought. We thought, hey, let's see if we can make it, uh, get him to make us a safe room. I saw it on his Facebook page that he did it for somebody else before. So that safe room is $7,600. Um, there is extra concrete about two foot deep in the slab to support that safe room. And it's the walls are six inches thick. So that six by eight minus the six inch thick walls makes it five by seven on the inside it's got a steel fema rated storm and hurricane or tornado and hurricane door uh, the door's not on there yet but the, the frame is so um yeah that wasn't cheap but hopefully it'll be worth it and the shot pad the shot pad or the uh, slab the slab, the plumbing, and the front porch over there on the on the shop. That was about twenty thousand dollars. It was eighteen thousand dollars for the slab, about two thousand dollars for the plumbing in the in the shop, and another uh, two thousand dollars for the for the concrete in the front and the porch overhang. So the whole whole thing was approximately, give or take a thousand, was twenty thousand dollars for the concrete on the uh, shop. And now this one, this one, 40 by 84, um, with the two porches and the concrete room was, uh, I don't, I mean, without the concrete room is $27,000 for the slab here and the porches. The safe room was an extra 7600 so um, over here on the on the shop uh, half of that shop the half with the garage doors and everything is six inch thick concrete the other the other half is four the six inch was uh, we made that thicker so i could put a car lift in there in the future and the floor would support it so it's half six inch and half four inch <clears throat> And everything's poured. All right, so just concrete. Just concrete is what, 52? Uh, with including the uh, storm shelter is everything just concrete and con storm shelter and both pads, just the concrete is 52,600. Okay, so 52,600 for the concrete for our barn aluminum our shop, 
all the porches and the concrete safe room. So um, I think I worked that out. It wound up being $6 and something a square foot. Now we had all the dirt work done before that. So if you get something a little higher than that and they're doing your dirt work for you, then, you know, it, it might be okay. Um, we paid somebody to do all of our dirt work, our driveway, our pad, our uh, electric right-of-way, um, all that stuff. So that was already done before we had the concrete poured. <clears throat> so 52000 for all the concrete. And that's, uh, I figured it up once, I think it's like 60-something, 6,000-something uh, 6, square feet of, of concrete um, between the house and the shop and the porches. That's a lot of money, and uh, we're glad it's done. <laughs> those those were really hard checks to write, um, but we're moving on, and hopefully within two weeks, they'll start framing up. Uh, our builder has a concrete crew, a framing crew, and a sheet metal crew. So now that we're done with concrete, they're going to um, put us on the framing schedule, and he said probably about two weeks to get out here and start framing. And once they're done framing, um, another week or two to get on the sheet metal crew. And uh, so I'm hoping four or five weeks to be dried in. Um, we already have all the doors, windows, and everything. Uh, well, the builder has. Um, we ordered our, our front door custom separate. So that came in about a month ago. It took 26 weeks to get our door. Um, but finally it came in. So we have all the doors, all the windows ready. All they got to do is put up the building, put in all the doors and windows, and we're dried in. And at that point, then it's all on us. Yep. Then everything else is up to us to do. Um, we're going to have spray foam contracted out and possibly HVAC. Um, we're working on the HVAC now. But other than that, we're doing everything else. I'm doing all the plumbing, all the electrical. Um, all the walls. Uh, I didn't want to do sheetrock, but after getting a couple quotes on sheetrock, uh, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, I've done sheetrock in the past. I didn't like it, but I'm going to, no. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do, do it. it. I'm going to do, do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> just, so, just so we can save the money because it's thousands of dollars yeah. to have them uh, above the cost it's of the sheetrock. It's not sheet a rock. fun job. No, sheetrock is not fun. Mm -hmm. It's it's a dusty, dirty job, and it takes a little bit of skill that hopefully we can master in in a, in a short time. Or dust up our old skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we did my parents' house then in Nacogdoches, oh, about thirty years ago. <laughs> so so we'll figure it out. We'll get it done. But that's where we are right now. Um, hopefully we'll get another video out soon. But until then. We thank everybody that watches our videos. Thank you to our 405 subscribers. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. 405 people want to watch us. That's a great, that's great. I, I appreciate it. And um, <clears throat> anybody else who's watching, like and subscribe. We'll have more videos. And uh, once we get everything dried in and we start the work, we'll have a lot of, not necessarily how-to videos, but how we did it videos. Um, we're gonna try and do everything by code or or as close as we can get to it. And um, and uh, we'll show every step of the way. So anyways, like, subscribe, comment if you want, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.